about explicit content sorry djc in for art big fall thank god because we don't want him here i know there's people talking about him and yelling and chanting his name but i got nice and dressed up i do wear a suit very nice and the hat goes really good with the suit but without further ado let's get into the first ever pay nothing per view wrestling the iwl the intellivision wrestling league so let me get in my commentator's chair here, because I'll be commentating for you. We never know. What? It is a live stream. It is. Oh, we are live. We are live. <laughs> what is up, Luke's Awakening? Uh, PJ says, what a great card of matches tonight. Will Art Big fall? No, unfortunately, he's under the weather, or outside in the weather. Probably under his van. <laughs> oh, man. Indy Racing says Sheik will defeat Mr. Pinky. You're talking about the Vic Vicious and Sheik the Slammer. Slam, slam, of Sheik Slam. Emma Jade says Art, Art, Art. Unfortunately, Art, like I said, is outside and he will not be let into the building. And we are live. This is definitely live. Unless you're watching in replay, then it's called replay. So, our first match, I think I popped it in here, right? The, uh, our tag team uh, match is to start off with Rambo and the Sheikah Slam. And they're taking on the tag team champions, Chief Big Thunder and Mr. Purple himself, Gorgeous Gordon. But let's get into that match right now as we flip on over and get it going. Are you ready? Is everyone ready? Oh, there we go. We got there. As we know, our that doesn't matter. We don't need to know any of this stuff. We just need to know that it's time. It's time to uh it's time to just start the match. Here we are. This is it. Chief Big Thunder and Gorgeous Gordon. And who do we got coming in? Oh, the Sheikah Slam and Rambo. Woo! Oh, this is gonna be exciting, folks. This is gonna be exciting. Oh, hello. It's Lola, Lola the Ring Girl. Oh, ho, ho, ho. let's do this. Oh, right there, a quick jab by the Sheikah Slam. It looks like Gorgeous Gordon was trying to get on the ropes, but he gets shaken and thrown. Oh, he's smacking him across the face in a rope sling. Oh, the Mega Leap. The <laughs> Gorgeous Gordon in his purple did not know. Oh, he's getting shook around again. The Sheik of Slam and a double knock out there. Kurt Bradshaw. Very, very nice. Very, very nice, Kurt. Well, thank you, Indy Racing. I try. Oh, the Sheikah Slam swearing. We don't have that. This is a family-friendly channel. We don't do that. Don't worry, Emma. He will be here at some point. Just not today. 
Oh my God! Look at this guy—the backbreaker, gorgeous Gordon, his gorgeous purple hue. They say he got that way from eating nothing but blueberries. That way, that he normally had a reddish hue as a redhead, but the blueberries, the blue from the blueberries, made it purple. And he dyes his hair blonde. Has a nice pony table though. Oh man, look at this! Oh, the Iron Claw! By the Sheik of Slam. Oh, the Sheik of Slam. Going up on the top ropes, but he gets kicked. Uh-oh, it's a tag-in by Big Thunder. And now it's Chief Big Thunder with the knee butt. Oh, man. The Sheik of Slam slaps him across the face. Another knee butt. Another knee butt. Oh, the Sheik of Slam can barely stand. And it looks like Gurr is what the, <laughs> the other guy's saying. Omega Leap. Oh, the Sheik of Slam now down. Can he make a tag team before the big splash? Can he make a tag, I should say? Oh, and he does. Whoa, whoa, check this out. Rambo. Oh, and Chief Big Thunder. These guys are rivals. Oh, are they ever. Oh, man. Oh, here it goes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, and Rambo shaking the Sheik of Slam. Or the, uh, what, are, what are these names again? I don't know, it doesn't matter. But, yes, he must have visited Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. You talk about Gorgeous Gordon. Oh, a quick smack across the face. And now Chief Big Thunder, or Rambo. They're both just rendered slightly different colors. Now I'm getting them mixed up. Oh, the knee butt by Chief Big Thunder. And now, uh-oh, Rambo off the ropes. No, it doesn't matter. Both down, both down. Uh-oh, trying to get the cheap pop there, but that's going to take it. Oh, that's going to get a face shake to you. Oh, they're grappling, they're rolling. Oh, and it's a backbreaker by Chief Big Thunder. Oh, a smack across the face for real. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Another grapple, another grapple, and a backbreaker, Chief Big Thunder, a veteran in this business for over 75 years. He is in his, this is his 76th match. He started when he was a one-year-old. Cross chop. Here we go. Backbreaker again. I think Chief Big Thunder is bringing the thunder, if you know what I mean. Oh man! Oh, this is you ain't gonna take Chief Chief Big Thunder's a champion, and Rambo is just a rookie. This is his first tag team title match. If this, if they could pull this off, I tell you what, that's gonna be the biggest upset of this of this evening. Oh man! Yeah, Rambo is cussing up a storm. And what gorgeous Gordon is coming back in, the blueberry himself, but he gets the iron claw from Rambo. Wow. I just can't believe it. Rambo almost made it to the top rope. Oh, man, but the blueberry backbreaker is going to get him. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Hulkamania is running wild, brother. Tag the Sheik back in. I know you'd think he would. You'd think he would tag the Sheik of Slam back in, but Rambo thinks he can shake the blueberry monster. Oh, but he goes up top from the slam, cussing, cussing, so much cussing. Oh, he is like a grizzly bear, and he does the rope swing, and round one is over. Yes, for some reason, there is rounds. Lola. Hello, Lola. Mm. I tell you, if I could get myself a girl like Lola, I would stop doing in television live streams, but I probably wouldn't. Rope swing. Oh, and Rambo missing the veteran blueberry master, Gorgeous Gordon. Oh, man, another miss. What is happening here? And they start to back him into the corner. Backs him in the corner. Oh, he does the tag. Sheikah Slam. Sheikah Slam comes out. Oh, there's no way. There's no way. You can't take a veteran like Gorgeous Jordan. George, gorgeous uh, Gord. What's he, a gourd? Is he a fruit? Gorgeous Gordon. Oh, man, another rope sling. Oh, man, nope. And the the Sheik of Slam. The Sheik of Slam's been a lot longer, around a lot longer than his partner, Rambo, which has, they've said, the dumbest name in wrestling. Rambo, spelled B-E-U-A or A-B-E-A-U. Oh, man. Yes, this, I've, we've got better ratings here at the IWL better than uh than the current wwe I, I guarantee you that this is the the, the greatest wrestling <laughs> the ayatollah rock and roll the tower of power too sweet to be sour uh-oh 
but can the Sheikah slam, even though his slight advantage, uh, better than Rambo? Oh, but looks like someone's getting tagged. No, no, he was going to go for the rope, but now, oh, man, look at that backbreaker. The Sheik is just not, Chief Big Thunder is not going to give up these claws, but then the, uh, the claws, I mean the championship that easy, but then the claw, another grapple here. Oh, a knee butt. Oh, now it's just embarrassing. The Sheikah slam can barely, oh. Could stop him from getting up there. He just gave him another backbreaker. Oh, it's just, it's really sad at this point. I don't think the Sheikah Slam has anything in him. Oh, he try, wrestles him off for a second because this is wrestling. And, oh, look at that. Another rope into this. Oh, man. Oh, the Sheikah Slam down. Can he get, I thought he was going to go for the pin there, but no, he keeps going. And, whoa, look at that flip. Oh, the leg drop. And I think we're going to go for a pin. No, he doesn't. He lets the Sheik get back up. He wants to give him more of a qu more quick jabs, apparently. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Ouch. Oh, man. Barely able to stand. Uh, can we throw the towel in before? Oh, it's another backbreaker. Oh, and a flying to drop. And I think we're going to finally go for a pin. No, he goes back up again. Comes right back down. Uh-oh. And it's Rambo, but uh, Rambo is not going to have a chance. Chief Big Thunder is already putting a hurt on everyone. Or, uh, yeah, that's what I meant. Chief Big Thunder, right? <laughs> One of them. Indy says the true story, the real Iron Sheik made a book signing appearance at Walmart in Virginia and got to spend, I got to spend three hours with him as the Walmart employee to be there with him. Dude, that's a weird place to have a signing. A book signing at Walmart? I mean, I guess they're big. I just didn't know they did that type of stuff. That is pretty awesome, man. That is pretty awesome. Oh, man. Oh, no. Big Chief getting hand. Oh, and Rambo going off the. Oh, he makes the hit. Oh, man. Rambo going for the cheap pop, but that could cost him. But Chief Big Thunder going for the tag. And gorgeous Blueberry Gordon is back in. Look at this. Oh, Rambo tries to shake him, but I tell you, you don't shake a blueberry cuz you'll get the you'll get the juice. And this is the juice right here. It is that a mega leap and now, oh, I thought that Mr. Gordon would go for the pin. The veteran 65-year-old veteran. Oh man, is he going to go for the pin? No, not yet. He lets him get back up. He wants this pain to keep going. Here it goes. Here it goes. Oh, it leaps but catches no one. No, no, they, they, they're they tying it up again. And the Iron Claw from Rambo. To be the man, you got to be. <laughs> the round we ladies and gentlemen, I didn't know we had this many rounds, but if I get to look at Lola, it's all good. Hello, Lola. We'll see you a little bit later. Round three starts off, and the marvelous blueberry, gorgeous Gordon gets a claw to the throat by Rambo. Rambo, this young guy making a lot of mistakes, keeps trying to climb up, but gets just has to come back down. But I don't know, this is anyone's right now, as he actually gets the, the champ off his feet. Oh, man, and a backbreaker by the blueberry. Oh, man, I just, I think something, oh, it's a cross chop. Look at that. Oh, he's trying to get the cheap pop there, and it's not going to work for him. Oh, <laughs> Lola has jaundice. <laughs> And it's a sad thing. We shouldn't be, be calling uh <laughs> this is easily the greatest in TV game ever. This game oh it would have, dude. If if this didn't come out in 1988 when Nintendo was hot and heavy, oh man, could you imagine? <laughs> oh, a smack! Did you hear that? Sometimes they just smack him across the face. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Very great throw there. Oh, another smack. And it's Big Chief and the and the rookie Rambo is just kicked to the floor. Now Rambo tries to get a little, he gets the iron claw there, but I tell you what, oh man, Chief Big Thunder is gonna just do another backbreaker as Rambo lays on the floor and cusses. It's off the top. No, he comes back down. No, he goes back up. He says, forget it. Nope, he comes back down. Wow, they're making a lot of <laughs> a lot of uh mistakes here. Oh, another botched backbreaker, but it still takes effect. But I think he hurt Rambo for, uh-oh, nope, comes back down. Was going to go for the quick jab. It was missed and a double knockout. I.E. is right. 
Oh, yeah, that was a 30 years ago when they used to have a show. Poor, poor Lola. Oh, I don't know what's happening there, but oh man, is this match going on way too long? Is what I'm thinking. Oh, could these could these guys do a pin already? Oh, I tell you what, if we go if we go past four rounds, uh, I'm just gonna call this a tie and a terrible terrible match. <laughs> oh, is someone gonna make a pin? Can we just get one pin? Need more action between the teammates and betrayals. I know. They, they, they need to. Oh, Chief. I just noticed the Sheikah Slam was tagged in. Oh. Is, is something going to happen here? I see. Oh, no. Look, at they know when to tag and when to do it. These rookie One rookie working with a, a basic veteran at this point, uh, the Sheikah Slam. But... Gorgeous Gordon is has the most experience in the crowd. Yes, the the crowd looks like a set of bushes from auto racing. She lost her youth and she lost her Tony. Now she's lost her mind. Oh, that's that's sad. Poor Lola. Oh, I forgot. I wonder when Silly Susan will be doing an appearance in between. Oh. Oh, no, he comes back down after getting only a one count. He had up till five to hang up there. But, no. Oh, gorgeous Gordon and uh, his all blueberryness, just doing backbreakers. And and this could be it. This is co could be it. Gordon is far away from his corner. Oh, oh, my goodness. Here we go. The Sheikah Slam. One, two. No, in the kick out by gorgeous Gordon. Of course, you can't pin Gorgeous Gordon and his blueberry greatness. Look at he comes back with a backbreaker of his own. Oh, and he's off the top, and he walks the rope, and then, I don't, whoa, that was looked a little botched. And he's, he's just bouncing. Oh, and he gets smacked by the cheek, by the, the whatever the guy is, Sheikah Slam. And, uh, okay. Wow, look at this. The crowd is starting to go wild. Man, can the Sheikah Slam get... Now he's no he's no uh oh him and his rookie partner Rambo. Uh oh, cheap and slap. Round over. Are you kidding me? Oh, Miss Lola, you stop it. I knew that kiss was for me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. The retro advisory board uh wrestles in uh they need more monologuing into the mic with the soap metal drama turns, taunts, and showmanship. Oh, and at least one hi mom placard in the crowd. Hey, I agree. I agree 100%. My friend, my brother, Retro Advisory Board. All right, here we go. Gorgeous Gordon. Uh, I think at this point he's got the Sheik. Oh, no, no, another. Uh-oh, okay, rope sling. Could this have? No, he ducks and covers. Oh, that is going to cost the Sheik. And the Sheik, uh-oh, okay, he went for the crowd pop, but that's not going to help him. Shake showing off to the crowd unless you can pull off your move after and that oh no does he gonna do it is he gonna do it is it a close line up no he just oh he gets slapped for it he gets absolutely slapped and that see that's what's gonna happen when you call in the Sheikah slam chief big thunder is now uh at a at a, at a disadvantage oh and he got a count on the rope <laughs> that would require the crowd to have hands. Right now, they're just green little bushes. Oh, my goodness, we got two. But look at this, Chief Big Thunder. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i telling you. The Iron Claw with by Rambo. Oh, that is going to cost our our, uh, our veteran tag team uh, champs here. Oh, is he going to go off or is he going to stay? No, he comes back down and gets a smack, goes back up, comes back down. Oh, this is getting repetition. Repetitious she is this. A mega leap. This could be it. I could see a pin coming soon. Oh, a smack by Rambo. Has no respect for the for the for the current tag team champions. Oh, and then he misses again. Oh, ouch, ouch. A knee butt. Oh, this is yeah, this is not looking good. And now Rambo. Rambo pulls the iron claw off again, though. That's what you just got to be careful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Rambo off the top. No, he comes back down. I None of these guys are really 
<laughs> That'd be true. The hands are hard to draw. Oh my goodness. This is this is live wrestling at its best. Oh, here he goes. No, he comes back down. He's going for the tag. He's going for the tag, and gorgeous blueberry Gordon comes in. This is oh man. Oh, Rambo is taking down, taking down these veterans. Oh no. This is going to be a pin. I think this is going to be a pin. No, instead, he goes for the crowd, but the crowd isn't going to help him right now. He has to do some actual wrestling. Can he pull it off? He does with the Iron Claw. This is his chance to do a pin. I think this is it. Can we have new tag team champions here? No way. No. Oh, we have new tag team champions. Wow. I cannot believe it. Rambo and the Sheik of Slam are now our newest tag team champions. I could not believe that our first pay nothing preview would be having a title change. Wow. Well, I want to thank everybody for showing up. We have our next match coming up shortly as I set it up. Uh, wow. What do we have? Mr. Ugly versus Beach Bum Barney for the Intercontinental title. This one is going to be crazy as Mr. Ugly... We've seen many a times on some lunchtime screams, screams and streams, and uh, but Beach Bum Barney, um, we haven't had. He's coming out of retirement to truly try to uh, to redo his career. Uh, so let's let's get back to me because I'm beautiful. While I set this up, I'm just gonna put it into my commentary computer here. Oh my goodness! Wow, it's just it's just you you don't expect. Stuff like that to happen. Oh, unbelievable. Just unbelievable. All right. So uh, what am I doing here? Whew. So I'm setting this up and it'll see me looking at stuff and it's really exciting. Uh, we got set up Mr. Ugly versus the current Intercontinental Champion but also came out of retirement for some reason. I screwed that up. Beach Bum Barney is going to be, he, he is, pff, Beach Bum Barney is a, is a, is a super professional. Um, and then you got your, you got your, um, hold on. Hold on. Got to redo that. <laughs> one on one. Hold on. I'm setting this up. It looks really cool, but it looks like I'm looking somewhere off the screen and not paying attention to anyone. We're nothing but professionalism here. Next time I'll have a cutaway or a skit. Um, so we got, uh, I'm just seeing what we got here. Okay, so left is going to be Peach Bomb. He is that. get this set up. Oh, almost had him. Who was he fighting? Man, I forget everything. Mr. Ugly, of course. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready for this? Now, this is a intercontinental title match. Beach Bum Barney, the current and super veteran. You know, he's 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 up there in age. He's uh he's around uh, 59 years old. That's that's harsh. Beach Bum Barney, straight from the beach. His big bushy blonde hair and his his uh, beach tan and leathery skin goes against Mr. Ugly. Now, Mr. Ugly wears a mask. You know why he wears, wears a mask? Because he too also has jaundice. Because he would, him and Lola used to be a couple and they had jaundice together. I used to have jaundice when I was burnt. Burnt? I mean born. Anyways, but yes, he Mr. Ugly wears a hood because he's he, he's he's very ugly it's just that's just the, the thing of it but let's switch on over and start this match yes that's right it's beach bum barney and mr ugly for the intercontinental championship beach bum barney being the current title holder here we go oh i forgot you gotta hit enter on that and here we go look at this here we go Beach Bum Barney, the current champion, comes out to fight someone that's been making a lot of noise, and that is Mr. Ugly. Mr. Ugly, a new crowd favorite. This could be anyone's match, folks. 
Mr. Ugly is known to... Oh, hello, it's Lola again. Man, Lola is... I don't even know what to say about that. Yep, it's <laughs> interesting hood, Mr. Ugly. It looks like one of the clocketeers of Death Clock. Oh, my goodness, and this is starting off right now. A lot of cross chops. Wow. Oh, man, talk about a super pro wrestler. A knee butt. This is insane. Another, another... Oh, oh, Beach Bum Barney with the iron claw. Mr. Ugly going going to school here. He's learning. He's learning. He just can't come in here with a bunch of attitude and take out Beach Bum Barney. You can't do this. Oh, I have never in my commentating career seen Beach Bum Barney fly up, hit the lights, and come back down hard on the freshly poured blacktop. Oh, it comes right back down. A lot of them do that. They change their mind. Oh. Oh, look at that, a knee butt. Oh, right to the stomach. I think that was actually to the crotch. And I, oh, a double knockout, but it doesn't stop Beach Bum Barney. But I'm telling you right now, oh, look at the spin heave. This is what Mr. Ugly's known for. He throws his opponents out onto that freshly poured blacktop. It has a little bit of a uh, give to it because it's freshly poured. It's got uh, 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 like a like a blacktop tar is, is, is what it is. <laughs> Oh, a smack to Beach Bum showing no respect and a flip kick. Oh, man, this is nuts. This is nuts. Here we go. Here we go. And a mega leap. I've never seen. Oh, right to the back. That must have hurt. And that's going to tweak his back right there. Oh, cross chop, but nobody home. Nobody home. Here we go. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, that, talk about it. I don't know if that was a drop kick that shoots someone off the canvas. That Oh, it was a punch to the face right there. Here they go. Another knee butt. Oh, that is going to hurt him. He will not be able to have children. But it's okay. He never could have because of how ugly he is and the hood that he's wearing. Here we go. Oh, oh, a beach bump. Oh, man. I, I This is Mr. Ugly might have bit off more than he could chew here. I do not see him beating the current. What? Until that happened. Can you believe it? Oh, they're outside. Oh, they run back in. Oh, he does a backwards mega leap. Back. Okay, I don't know what's that. Oh, he's out. He's out on there, out on the blacktop. Oh, Beach Bum Barney just putting it to him. I, I don't think he's going to get up. No, he gets up. Mr. Ugly says, no, I'm going to smack you a couple times, show you who's boss. But Beach Bum Barney, I think, is just, he pulls out the iron claw. Pulls out the iron claw. What is? Oh, he picks him back up. Oh, he can barely stand. Gets in the ring, waits for him to get in. For Oh, another smack. Disrespect shown by the young Mr. Ugly. But Mr. Ugly just gets 25 knee butts. I think this is over, folks. I don't think Mr. Ugly understood who he was going up against. And there it is. Beach Bum Barney, the favorite. And Intercontinental Belt stays where it belongs with the absolute veteran Beach Bum Barney. Wow. This is a, this is a night of of title changes. This is a, t a night of of current belts staying where they should belong. I mean, Beach Bum Barney, what can you not say about that fantastic fantastic uh, wrestler? Like, really? Uh... All right, so what we got coming up next, I got to check the card because I don't know anything. We have uh, Dr. Payne versus the current in Television Wrestling League champion, and title holder, Barf the Caveman. Now, Barf the Caveman, uh, they found him living in a cave, and what he would do is barf on his opponents. Uh, so they quickly trained him. He spent some time in WWE and in WCW back in the late 90s. But now he's back, and he's the current IWL title holder, and he is facing the new guy who's been making a lot of noise, like so much noise, literally, like he has a tambourine and he just keeps smashing it backstage and there it's way too much noise, but they call him Dr. Payne, Dr. Payne. So, uh, we are going to start with, uh, with barf, which is a, a professional, a professional wrestler in, in, in everything that it's, uh, uh <laughs> supposed to be. And, uh, Dr. Payne, which is, uh, well, hold on, let's get, uh, Let's get Barf going, okay? And uh, Dr. Payne, let's get him going. There he ups. I almost had him. Setting his stuff up. up and, uh, maybe I should do this ahead of time. 
All right, but we want to do it live. That's what live is all about, right? So here we go. Oop, let me flip back to why can't I see anything? There we are. Captain Caveman. <laughs> Jobbers, ham and eggers. You're right. What's up, JWD? Thanks, everyone, for showing up. I really appreciate all the support. Barth. <laughs> I heard that. Bartholomew, I heard, is his, his actual name. Uh, and then Sneed says, hold on. Whoops. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Sneed says, needs more cutscenes like Ring King. Well, let's go to that footage right now. And that's what that is all about. It's all about that Ring King. That's the whole reason we make this show. But here it is now where the current... Current ICW or I, I, what in television wrestling league champion Barf the Caveman versus Dr. Payne. Let's do it. Oh man, the freaking move thing. I always forget about that. All right, here we are. Barf coming out. The crowd kind of okay with them. They're not. He's been the champ for a while, you know, but people are really loving the new guy, Dr. Payne. Dr. Payne, he likes to wear a doctor's mask. Oh, Lola. <laughs> yep, I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, Lola, stop. Not in front of the camera. All right, here we go. Oh, and look at Barf does a mega leap backwards. Bang, he's mega leaping. At Whoa, but he got shut down by Dr. Payne right there. What is happening? They're just having a, having a friendly chat. Bouncing off some ropes. Oh, and they double knocked themselves out. Whoa, a drop kick. I don't know who really got the... But I'd say Barf is known to fly all over. And that's how he gets very nauseous. He flips and flies until he barfs on his opponent. Whoa! The duck and cover is a famous move. A lot of them like to climb up and then come back down. Oh, a bazooka punch! A bazooka punch and the crowd goes wild, but nope. Dr. Payne says, how about I throw you on the concrete? How does that feel? Oh, my goodness. This is just unbelievable. And the count starts. Here in the I IWL, they count. We have we have rounds, first of all, for some reason. And then we also have, oh, that's that wasn't really a body slam. It was like a body throw. Super Mega Graphics 64 is betting on Papa Smurf. You must be talking about Dr. Payne. He had a he also has a pigment issue where he ate a bunch of Smurf collectibles and it turned his stained the, the dye number four, the blue number four, uh, from the plastic that he had ingested over the years, mostly through the 80s and in early 90s. He uh they it tinted his skin uh a smurf blue, um, is what the doctors had said. And and the reason I know that because he is a doctor himself. Um, so he does wear the red tights and the red boots because he is a Popper Smurf fan, and he always has been, and he wants to show the heritage of the Smurfs. But Barf right now, this is pretty evenly matched. He hits him along the back. That was called the leg backslide. And Oh, here they are. They're tying it. Oh, oh, and the super spin heave again. This is always a fan favorite because it shows a person's cranium smashing on freshly porn blacktop. This is the Pay Nothing Purview. Yes, it is, Steve Jones. Thanks for coming to the wrestling Pay Nothing Purview. Television Gamer. Oh, talk about a good Intellivision Gamer. The Intellivision Gamer. Subscribe today. PJ Smith, the Silly Club member, says, when I, when I was young, they would do two out of three falls, and it seemed like a lot. Not for the big matches, though. Yeah. Yes, Intelligent Gamer in the his. Whoa. I don't know what happened there, but another cross chop. They call that the, the pork chop chop is when you take two pork chops, you put them in your wrestling tights, and then you you do a chop. Oh, man. Oh, talk about evenly matched. This is this is an even, quite the evenly matched. Uh, oh, man, you got one guy who's an absolute veteran, another guy who's just a straight-up professional. I mean, you've got Dr. Payne. You know, other than his his Papa Smurf look and pigment issues, is a great wrestler. Oh, and then you got on the other hand, 
He got Barth the Caveman, the, our current IWL champion. The reason he is an IWL champion is because he plays a lot of Intellivision. He understands the brand. And he takes out people after one of these, a spin heave again by Dr. Payne. Oh, and he hits the ring post, shattered. I think he shattered his pelvis and his skull. But no, he gets right back up, shattered pelvis, no problem. Oh, he headbutts I, or did something to pop a smurf. That Now he goes for the cheap pop in the crowd. But that's, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. A lockup. Who is it going to be? Oh, another headbutt from Barf the Caveman. He's trying to get that nauseaism going. But looks like he's making Dr. Payne nauseous. Another headbutt. Oh, I think he just barfed there. We can't show it. He faces the other way. This is a barf-free stream. We cannot show that live. Oh, man. Oh, that he's in some pain now. Oh, this is not good. We could see a night, another title change. Whoa, but he does the flippity fly leap. Nope. It's it's over. Nope, it is over. But the round is over in the middle of a three count? Well, Lola, what do you think of that? Oh, that's what I thought. Mwah, to you too, sweetheart. Here we go. Oh! Barf comes straight out and just says, you know what? I'm going to go for the pop, lifts him back up. Oh, this is just mean. This is just cruel at this point. Barf knows he's going to win. And we didn't even need to see him barf. And there's, no, the kick out by Dr. Payne. How is that guy even still alive? He could, oh, he's smacking him. Oh, he just, I think he was like, I think I was, he was smacking him with his thighs. I don't, he doesn't even know where he is. He's just bouncing around. No. Dr. Payne going for a spin move, and he can barely move himself. He's got two broken kneecaps at this point, and he's still – its you've got to give it to him. You've got to give it to him. Oh, and another brain buster. I mean, you got to get him in the ring and pin him. This is just cruelty. I mean, call – oh, ladies and gentlemen, call security out here. We need to stop this. Barf the Caveman is tearing up, tearing up the Blueberry Smurf known as Dr. Payne. Oh, it's, it's Barf the Caveman, Mince McMahon. I'm, I'm glad you appreciate this, being in the wrestling business yourself. Oh, this is pure cruelty, and he's doing this for no other reason. Are they going to get a double count out? You've got to be kidding. Get back in. No, no. Oh, it goes to a draw, and he leaves the current champion out. There is no title change. What a What an upset. That, to me, I cannot believe that. Who is in charge of this? Who is in charge? Yeah. Uh, well, he's going to go have to get two kneecaps uh, that were shattered beyond recognition. That was unbelievable. Wow. Can you believe this? Uh, we are almost ready for our main event. Uh, let me let me flip back over here, which will be Baron Von Thud versus Mr. Pinky Arms himself, Vic Vicious which is our world title holder. Yes, Mr. Pinky is our world title holder as we've seen him wrestle. Oh, that is unbelievable. I just, I, oh, how does this happen? How does this happen? Can you even believe this is, this is real? This is real sportsmanship, real athletes flipping and flying, doing the PSAC shuffle uh, and the green bean dance. But uh, I cannot believe Dr. Payne pulled that off. He get He's getting beat up, has two shattered kneecaps, gets just beat down but manages to roll under the rope and, according to I, IWL rules, gets in and does the count out for the current champ, which makes it a draw. No title change. That's insane. That's Yes, I think it probably could, Bischoff. He's a Michigan guy. That's the great thing about wrestling. Anything can happen with a 100% real fight. Absolutely super mega graphics. Retro advisor boy rings in and says, shattered pelvic, pelvis, pelvis, shattered pelvis sounds like a senior day, day center Vegas impersonator. <laughs> well, he also goes by the moniker shattered pelvis, but wow, do we have, yeah, it is way more brutal. If there was, if there was finishers like, like ripping spines, it, it wouldn't be more brutal. Uh, you are right, Emma Jade. Now, we are about to start, oh, man, our main event. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is, I have never been more happy commentating, and I cannot wait uh, to get, Art Big Fall will be on next week's uh, live wrestling. Uh, but this week, it's me. I'm in for Art Big Fall. 
he is out with a cold and he's literally out in the cold because we will not let him in the building. He is outside. It is raining. He is wet. He is mad. He's been pounding on the door for the last half hour, but we will not let him in because it's me, DJC, playing the commentator today. Playing? What did that mean? Anyways, so let's get ready for our main event, which is our all-time world champion, Vic Vicious, and he's about to take on the newest contender, which is Baron Von Thud, a former champion. So let's get this. Let's get this going. I am setting it on up right now. Do one on one, and I messed that up. We are doing one on one. Uh, that is computer. That is computer. Uh, we are going to do that. And we are going to do that. So we have got, who's our, you think I would remember stuff. Vic is our current champ. <laughs> And then he is fighting who again? <laughs> Baron Von Thud, of course. <laughs> These names. You think you wouldn't forget them, but they're so forgettable. Baron Von Thud. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. Let's, let's flip it on over and get to some action. This is the IWL and Television Wrestling League at its famous, at its famous, at its best. Here we got coming down, Ver Baron Von Thud wearing his cowboy hat. He is ready. He almost looks like he's a Hulkamania fan. But our current champion, Mr. Pinky Arms himself, Vic Vicious. Shatter Pel Hello, Lola. <laughs> Shatter Pelvis is nickname of my proctologist. That's, oh, man. This is the most real wrestling I've ever seen, and I know the real thing. Mattel Combat. This is Mattel Combat. Actually, it's not. It's Iron TV Combat, 1988. There we go. Now, right here, right off the bat, you got two. You got a former champion versus a current champion, both in their prime. This is this is a match I could not wait to see. Uh, this is oh man, this is just oh look at them, just, just evenly matched. This is so evenly matched here. Does the Baron eat? Red Baron Pizza. I heard he eats Tombstone. That's where he gets the cowboy hat from. He's a big Tombstone fan. And he notice he wears the cowboy hat during his wrestling match. It never comes off. What he does is he takes a spirit gum and crazy glue, mixes it together, it makes a substance that is almost impossible to remove from the head. Man, rope sling. And Baron Von Thud waits for him. And, oh, a clothesline. A, just a simple, smushy clothesline. And Pinky takes it off right through the uh, right through the air. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why it's very, it's, it's hard to keep it on. It is hard to keep that on. Oh, man. The crowd is really going nuts over this. They, they know this is a championship match. They know that a lot is on the line. Man, that pile driver. Vic Vicious. Oh, but Bazooka Punch by Baron Von Thud. Baron Von Thud is, oh, it does a brain buster on Vic Vicious. And Mr. Pink just hits him, just lays across with all his might, and then stands there. What is happening? Oh, the double knockout. That hurt. That hurt. The hat has a neck strap, and that's how it stays on. Well, that too. But like I said, a mix of crazy glue and spirit gum always saves the day. Good to have the retro advisory board here for the fat. He knows a lot of facts about spirit gum and mixtures of epoxies. Whoa! And how that just happened. That just happened. Baron Von Thud between the legs of the ring post. But look at Vic Vicious doing the, the, the impossible from one ring post to the other. He does what I call the rabbit leap. It's very, very athletic. Now a lot of silence. Oh, both knocked out. I'm telling you right now, it is not looking good. Oh, it is not looking good for Baron, Baron Von Thud. 
as good as he is, you got a champion like Vic Vicious that is that is known to end matches in a minute. In a minute, he's he's pin people. He is he is he is violently pin people. How you do that? I don't. It's, it's, you'd have to see his matches. I'm not going to tell you that. Wow, this is nuts. This is just getting way too nuts. Oh, and a flip kick. Oh, man, this is nuts. Yeah, Mr. Well, Vic Vicious. Oh, with the pin, too. No, no. Is this it? No, it's a kick out. It's a kick out. Baron Von Thud says no, and he smacks him for it. He smacks him for it. Oh, I love the horse racing. Oh, my goodness. Here he goes. Gets back up. Oh, that's, you know, it's uh, it's a shame that these two former friends at one point were former tag team champions. And look, it flips off the crowd, but they cheer for him. No, Baron Von Thud wants the cheap pop as well. And he's still going for it, but that's going to be a problem because he gets that. Oh, oh man. I tell you what, I'm about to just puke up my lunch thinking about this. And I'm not even barf the caveman. Oh, Baron Von Thud turning it. How is this possible? And the champ is just like jelly legs, his pink, pink jelly legs, raspberry jelly legs, they call him. He's running, but he but no one's home. He did, oh, oh, and, and the lockup, the lockup. Oh, suplex. And that's it. No, save by the bell. Also a popular 90s show. Good Lord. Lola. Wow. Lola. Yep, he did say oof, and it was pre-Roblox. Man, it's not looking good. Baron Von Thud, as much as he's putting into it, he's in a lot of pain right now, folks. And I think his hip has been displaced. You can see him hobbling around the ring. Look at his leg is almost bent into an S shape. I don't I don't see he is just he it's I don't even know how he can move right now. But no, he's still got it in him. He's still got a little pizzazz, if you will. He pulls out the iron claw, even though his left leg is busted, almost right in half, the bone coming through the skin. This is this is crazy. Lola is very she is very brave with her jaundice. That's why we allow her on here. And that's it. No, a kick out. Oh man. Oh, there's just they're smacking each other and flipping and flying. This is nuts. This is nuts, man. I cannot believe this. Lola's a good woman. You know, she's currently single, too. I've taken her out a couple times, but she's such a sweetheart, and I feel bad because I'm such a rascal. And oh, and here it is. I just don't think we can, this he's not getting up, folks. It's he he is just laying there and it's bad. Vic Vicious, the current and still world champion, Mr. Pinky, wins the main event of the first ever Pay Nothing Preview here on DJC Game Studios. Can you but listen to that crowd? The crowd is still going wild back there. And, a, and abruptly silent is the next thing they do. Abruptly silent. Folks, this has been an insane pay nothing per view. It is nuts. I, I can't believe. I, I just, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Uh, wait, I'm hearing something. Yeah. No, we're still live. But the the main event's already done. Who's 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 it going? To, no way! The jackhammer is here, ladies and gentlemen. I just got word the jackhammer has made a challenge to who? Well, let's find out. I'm gonna set it up right now for everyone. Uh, there is two people not on the card. Uh, the Jackhammer and Judge and Jury, uh, this is a non-title match, but Jackhammer is super mad that Judge and Jury uh, is way too blue. He does not like blue, which I think is bad. Mr. Pinky likes to take over the world. Lola is, it's everyone's kind of woman. If you can get past the jaundice, the super yellow jaundice and the drinking problem, you, she makes just a wonderful wife, I, I, I guarantee you. Mr. P. <laughs> yes, yes, it's so much a surprise. Uh, Richard, Richard Crocker will not be making an appearance. Uh, not with this handsome fellow right here, me. 
And I'm wearing my Atari Creep pin. Look at that. I'm wearing an Atari Creep pin. Just because. But uh, here we go. We are we are ready. Jack Hammer not happy that judge and jury is blue. Like the way he says, what he says in his own words, way too blue. And I, I think that's bad. I, I don't agree with that. Uh, but Jack Hammer also not the greatest per, per, person. Person, she has DUIs. Oh yeah, Let, we don't even want to bring that up over here. We're family friendly channel. Uh, let's just get over uh, and 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 start this match. The one that was not expected on the card here, and it is Jack Hammer versus Judge and Jury. Jack Hammer already fired up with his silver helmet, and oh man, here he is, Judge and Jury with the braids. And super Smurf, they call it Payo Blue. Uh, I don't know what these people in there. Oh man, Lola, just stop, stop, Lola. Yeah, I <laughs> mean, Lola better be a good cook. I'm not eating out every. Whoa, look at them! They're flipping and flying. Two high flyers, guys and gals. We're 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 watching some high flying action right here. There's gonna be oh a pile driver. He's like, don't you don't make fun of me. He does a mega leap and a drop kick. And look at him. Oh, another mega leap. Man, you're you're seeing two very matched individuals that the crowd don't know who to chant for. Judge and jury with a jab. Oh, my goodness. Judge and jury not taking this pigment dispute and a pile driver. Now it looks like the jackhammer has some answering. No! Bazooka punch. The crowd is loving both these guys. You are not going to have one over the other to be a crowd favorite. Everybody loves these guys. Look at this. Bazooka punch. Oh, a quick jab. Here we go. Here, oh, a smack. A smacking and smacking and smack a lacking. They call that the shellac smack because it feels like you have a handful of shellac that's made from shellac bugs. If you didn't know, people <laughs> didn't know the people from Avatar were in this game. You're absolutely true. You're right. We do interplanetary wrestling. Intergalactic planetary. Here we go. Oh, the pile driver, a very blue pile driver, is what uh, uh, whoever the blue guy's name is thinks. Judge and jury is his name, and the jackhammer. Yeah, you know, he likes to wear a nice open astro. He takes the glass out of an astronaut helmet and he wears it like he's almost like he just got off of an excite bike. Is uh, is where he his former. His former job was racing Excite bikes. Oh yeah, well you know you know I like them beasties. Man, this is unbelievable. The Steiner brothers, uh, uh, uh ringing in and coming and showing up to the IWL. Good to see the Steiner brothers in the crowd. Here it is, the lockup, the suplex. Oh. Oh, man, and I'm telling you what, judge and jury is not going to put up with this pigmented hate of blue. Oh, man, this is this is anybody, but I, I to be honest, judge and jury may have this. It may be cheat. Oh, maybe cheat teaching jackhammer a thing or two, but I don't know. The jackhammer, it looks like his anger. Oh, no, his anger got the best of him. Judge and jury. With one, two, and no, the kick out by Jack Hammer. He's still alive. He is still alive. Intergalactic, someone get the Predator. Careful, he cheats. I heard he's got some heat heat sink technology that knows your achy bones. The crowd going nuts. The, oh, and a bazooka punch. That's why you got to be careful because Cameron, what's happening? You've got to be careful. Oh, oh, another smack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Judge and jury. This is not looking good. Whoa! The avatar sling, the avatar jump. It, it is over. I don't think Jackhammer has much left in him. I think this is it. No, a kick out by the Jackhammer. And he goes right to town. But he gets a suplex. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. 41 seconds left in round one. Can he even make it? You can't counter a mega leap with a cross chop, follow a bazooka punch. If they pull a quick jab and a rope sling shellac, and then with a quick job. Exactly. I couldn't. Oh, and there it is right there. Ladies and gentlemen, 
You do not, you do not tick off someone with Smurf coloring like that. They call that payo blue disease. Why is the Smurfs, that's why the Smurfs are made small, too aggressive when they get human size. It's, it's, it's very true. It is very true. I, I cannot believe that. I didn't even think we would have a, a, a match like that. There is a lot of ruckus back in the locker room, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hearing a lot of ruckus. There is people that are not have not hello. There's a lot people that are not on the card tonight that are that are mad. Oh, you can just hear you can hear the siren showing up from the ambulances, I guess. And uh, <laughs> and uh, hold on as I set this up. Um, and you are having some. I don't even know. Uh, you have a veteran right now and a. <laughs> Uh, hold on, let me see who is back here. I'm getting word on my headset that uh, uh, who was it? <laughs> We're about to find out that. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this is crazy. I never thought this would happen, but our current champ, not champ, but our current blue wrestler, judge and jury. Uh, had a beef right when he got backstage after his victorious win uh, against the Jackhammer. And Gorgeous Gordon, another lightly bluer, blue they used to call him the Blueberry, um, who was in our, our first tag match, he just called them out and, whoops. And uh, let, me, let me switch over. It's going to be a lot better the second time around, folks. But we are switching around. This is so we have judge and jury and Mr. Blueberry, gorgeous Gordon, going at it for the ultimate blue championship. And this ah oh. wrestling action, this real can never be on Atari. I agree. There he is, judge and jury, fresh out of a match. Oh, there is Ring King inspiration. Sorry with that comes showing that clip and they've already started. Here it is. Oh, who is going to be the bluest wrestler? I think judge and jury. He he's a, a he's a professional, a constant professional, but didn't have much time to uh, to rest. Why gorgeous Gordon, gorgeous blueberry Gordon? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I guess it all comes down. Do you like purple or do you like blue? Thank you, Steiner Brothers. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Blue blue against purple, but it's blueberry against Peo. It's blueberry against the Smurf. That's what it really is. Man, when you got two blues going at it, like Danny DeVito said it best, you always eat blue to get blue. Blue is healthy. Eat blue. This is unbelievable. The pile driver. Things getting a little silent. The crowd, crowd a little tired. They're getting tired. The second, second after the main event, second match. Just from just it's, it's a beef settle. It's just settling beef in the in the locker room. That's a face match. Oh, he smacked him five times. Oh, he smacked him five times. Here we go. Here we go. But no. He's running off the ropes, did nothing, messed that little botched right there. And it's a body slam, but not really. It's more like a body throw. Maybe the programmers didn't realize that that. Oh, and he smacked him. A quick, quick, oh, and a pile driver. Here we go. The crowd is liking him. The crowd loves Mr. Blue, Mr. Blueberry. But you got judge and jury getting thrown around like a rag doll. I can't even believe, oh, he can, judge and jury can barely stand up. A drop kick. A drop kick. What is happening here? What is happening? What has this league came to? When you can't, oh, come on. You know, you need to be professional. You're two former friends that share the love of blue. And just because one is bluer, I can't, oh, in a, oh, I don't even, a, a back breaker. Oh, man. Or neck breaker, or something breaker, a drop kick. And you're seeing evenly matched folks here. But unfortunately, I can't believe, you know, the thing about, about judge and jury, he just came off a match. What was he thinking? 
He's not even at his full potential. Gorgeous Gordon with a pin. Oh, the kick out by judge and jury. Oh, this is this is exciting. Oh, my goodness. As we end this night of pay nothing per view, who is going to uh, see judge and jury? Bad decision coming out just after finishing the match, but he's still kicking out. He's still kicking out. Here he goes. The lockup. The lockup again. Oh, and he smacks him across the face. Couple chants. Couple chops to the molars. That's 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 wisdom. <laughs> oh, it's the spin heave. He throws him out onto the concrete. The freshly tarred black top. They literally just put another layer on right before they're letting people in the ring or in the uh, arena. It smells like tar. You can barely breathe. And this this crowd, this capacity crowd, this sold out crowd, is now mad, and they're wondering why that they have to stay here to watch this final match. And it's nothing but a locker room beat. There's no titles. There's no nothing. It's bragging rights. It's, I did better than you because I'm bluer than you. And that is not cool. Oh, another spin heave. Judge and jury. Judge and jury tired, but still imagine. I can't. I just don't know how he finds the strength. And we're getting the count. Nope. Oh, one rolls. Now they don't know. One's rolling in. He don't. He didn't understand there. Apparently... The violence is almost too shocking to tolerate. I agree. It should, It you know, that's why it made it this league. What you going to do when the blue <laughs> runs wild on you? Oh, my goodness. And here we go. Here we go, the pin. I'm sorry, judge and jury. You're, you're, what a kick out. That's the fourth kick out by judge and jury. I don't think, can he pull this? No, that, okay. Now it's getting sad. Poor judge and jury. There's There's no, I can't see him coming back from this. And there it is. No! Kick out again! And he gets saved by the bell, just like the 90s TV show with Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Thank you, Lola. Man, she is a keeper. If it wasn't for that drinking. All right, here it is. Starts off with a spin heave. Judge and jury recovered a little bit here. Had some time in between matches. I don't know what they were doing in between matches. It could have been something like this. That's, that's not why we're here. We're here to see these two, purple and blue. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's posing for the crowd. Not cool. Not cool. That is going to cost him. No, no. Oh, he gets two molar chops. Like I said, the wisdom teeth smash is what they call it. Now they're by the crowd wrestling, tying it up. Oh, pile driver on the tar. Yeah, it's gonna, that's, his hair is going to stick to the tar, especially that blonde hair. You're going to get a mark. It's going to leave a mark. Tries to do the quick jab, but he wasn't even in the ring yet. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, another pile driver. Judge and jury, I am so sorry. You were our victor earlier, but coming in here right after a match was not a safe thing to do. Oh, oh but he smashes that guy's face. No, I just don't, I don't see this. I don't see how gorgeous Gordon. Judge and jury, yeah. Yeah, you can go ahead and get the pop from the crowd. But look at what you didn't know is oh my goodness I, I can't even i don't even know where this is going he's picking him back up oh judge and jury uh, it, barely standing both guys laying down this is a massacre in the ring this is a massacre <laughs> yeah I, I didn't expect to do this either man oh i would love that if it was possible trust me i would do that in a second i'd play with it Oh, this is this is unbelievable. Judge and jury actually with a chance now. I no, nope. I thought so, but here it is. I think this is it. There's no way he's getting out of this, and he doesn't. Wow, gorgeous Gordon, the blueberry from the east wins. What an upset! That is unbelievable. That was probably, I mean, we thought that the main event was good. That was nuts. I literally thought judge and jury was going to come back and actually do it. I, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. I wouldn't call him a cheater. I think, I think what he shouldn't have done is you don't go out. You have a, a beef with someone. You settle that beef. You are just in a match. You're victorious. You go backstage and call another person out to the ring and have another match. You don't want to do that right away. And that's why judge and jury needs to learn that just because he's blue just because he's so blue he thinks that he's cooler than everyone well you know what he got in a heated argument on who was bluer 
and it looks like Gorgeous Gordon, the Blueberry, won the match because he was he was in the very first tag match. You know how much time that is to take a nap, to rest, to get some icy hot on them biceps and pectorals? You know what they're doing back there? It's just unbelievable. You don't know what's happening. Yeah, what a card, right? What a card. Cameron says, when is Amico Forever starting again? It is starting again. <laughs> I, I don't have a date yet, but it is coming back. Yes, um, we're going to have a, a pretty good uh, pretty good show, actually. Um, I don't have a date, but I will. it'll be announced before uh, on my channel before it uh, starts again. Um, but I do have the new DJC show, so please subscribe. DJC Variety Hour. Uh, it's kind of like Tonight Show meets SNL, but SNL when it was cool. And, uh, yeah, we're doing live gameplay. We're doing some live and television baseball. We're doing some uh, some live um, bowling. We're going to do some live poker, uh, some chat engagements. We're going to go out here to the bar. We're going to make some cocktails. We're going to talk some craft beers. Um, we're also going to talk to have a couple interviews where we're going to talk to programmers for different games. So we're going to have a lot of games. The very first one is very game related. Um, our second one is going to be more music related. We're going to talk to some musicians and some Detroit uh, veterans and stuff like that. And then we're also going to have a, a show about the supernatural UFOs, ghosts, you name it. And uh, so that's, that's, uh, <laughs> was Lola, this guy, <laughs> Commentary thing is pretty awesome. Where was Lola for that? She comes back here. She has a, a nice uh, nice dressing room where she watches it on a monitor. We're not allowed to interact with her. It's just part of the rules here. Can you make something with a Coke? Absolutely not. I do Pepsi or Fago. That's what I do. We don't mess around with Coke here. But anyways, I want to thank everyone. This is this is fun. Uh, but yes, yes, Amigo Forever is coming back. And, uh, and, and uh, the DJC show will come out first. Uh, Amico Forever will come out sometime after that. Uh, but I want to focus on the DJC show. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to probably debut on a Wednesday. I don't know if that'll be its full home. Um, I'm also thinking uh, either Thursdays or uh, Fridays. Um, but anyways, but yeah, it's basically live from Detroit. Everybody's not having a Coke. Fago's high class. I agree. I really, really, really agree. How dare you say, use the C word around here, Mince McMahon. But thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully, we can have Lola make an appearance next time. But she's uh, very pixelated and can barely walk. It's the jaundice. I'm telling you, it's the jaundice and the drinking. She's she got an old fashioned waiting for her in the dressing room after every every time she holds up the card. That's in her contract. I can't I can't sway from that. But uh, <laughs> this has been fun. This has been absolutely fun. Um, and we. I hope that you, you join us for another one. I'm, I might do this next week again, I think. Uh, but I appreciate it. I know we're getting close to in about 20 minutes. I believe Go Game Go goes live. So I might have to uh, jump in there. And Super Mega Graphics 64, I would love to have you on uh, if, you, if you're not doing anything uh, next time I do this. I know I got to get back to you about the, the podcast, too. Um, but, yeah, uh, that would be, that'd be uh, I just if you want to come on and commentate. I might have to, what I could do, so we could do the screen at the same time with two windows, I can go live on my phone, and, uh, and, com and then I can commentate on that uh, through that way. That way it's showing two people with the com. So anyways, I just think that'd be kind of fun. Uh, Big Block says I'm expecting something as good as Sunny and Cher com comedy hour for the new show. Oh, it's going to be better than that. It's going to be better. You made it back too late. Oh, yeah. There was even two extra cards from some locker room beef, Luke. So if you're watching the... Uh, if you watch in the uh, replay, it's 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 it'll be it's, it's amazing. And Michael Hayes saying Fubar is on the way. The in brand new in television homebrew. Well, brand new to me because it's brand new. It is fairly new for the that version, right? Twenty nineteen or so. Um, but I cannot wait to do some gameplay on that. I want to try to do some live two player gameplay maybe on that. Um, but that being said, um, thank you so much, Kurt Bradshaw. Great show. Cameron more into yeah I'm gonna have a lot more and I also have Galaxian for Intellivision uh, uh, shipping from Intellivision Revolution um, that is still available so I I got a hold of one of those um, so I'm kind of stoked that's the only two I got coming right now because funds are very low but I figured I had to get something because I really like playing that type of stuff ET would 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 agree yeah he gets a little upset sometimes but sometimes that's just sexy yep. 
Uh, but we'll leave it at that. Uh, let's check one more time backstage to see what's happening in the locker room. Make sure there's no more beef. And there you have it. Take care, everyone.